Hello dear viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Keeper 2. We're still collecting portal gems from Goodly Heroes, so let's get going. There's a lot to do. Sing Song A joyous land filled with light and music. Let us silence their wailing voices once and for all. Yeah, let's. This land is defended by Lord Darius a far tougher opponent than Lord Antonius. Only by harnessing the forces of dark magic will you defeat him. Build a library to attract warlocks to your cause, and they will reveal to you the secrets of the arcane. Okay. The good Lord Darius presents himself against you now. He's more worthy as a foe. But use the rooms you won from well, Smiles. He can to hardly be less worthy. And you'll slay him dead, just like Antonius. Because Antonius was so weak. It was hard to believe, actually. Library. Training. Oh, we've already got money here. A uh, library. Build a layer. And then First I we want that. And claim the portal to your dungeon heart. And, um, layer, okay. Where is what? Ah, there is the evil. Or actually the good. We're the evil. That's important. How do we set it up? I don't know. Let's just make some space. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Maybe this should be our training room? No, this should be our lair. Claim the portal. Let's say... Ah, oh, there's really quite a lot of space, actually. I don't know, let's just... How we feel, let's just say this will be the lair. Uh, one, two, a new three. species of creature has entered your dungeon. I like 5 times 5 Well, for a lair it's actually pretty dumb. So let's not make this a lair, actually. Let's make this the hatchery. We can't. We have to sell that first, then we make it a hatchery. And then we make this our layer. In this level we probably will not need such a large hatchery, but I mean it really doesn't matter. Your we get still a place oh, to no, rest. We don't have yet build okay. them a layer. A lair. Yeah, right. A lair. Here we go. Here we go. Lair. Okay, so now we get a lair. Um, let's build the library down here. Sure. Let's do it. Um, yeah. 4 times 4 is a good uh, size for a library. And if it's shaped like this, um, well, you will see that this is a reasonable, uh, fairly reasonable shape. Because it's got a wall piece that is 3 tiles long, and that will give us an additional workspace. You will see what I mean in a minute. Or maybe even quicker. Okay, we'll look at a training room. Well, I don't know if we even have space here for a training room or whether we will breach through very fast. Let's find out. We will need the money basics anyways. of your dungeon are in place. But now expand it with a library. Design it square to maximize the space for scrolls, and let your imps make stronger walls to hold more shells. The Oops. training Oops. room is a place where fighting creatures hone their skills. As you can see, there is another workspace at the wall. You cannot afford to build this room. Yeah, we need more gold. Dark now. A warlock has arrived to study spells within your library. They're really good. His research will serve your magic well. Spell Restrict him not though to his books, for when in battle he may prove formidable with fireballs. And with healing spells. Which is also really useful. 
So we got... Every bookcase in your library will attract another warlock to your realm. Yeah, and as soon as the imps reinforce these walls, we will... And now to build a training room. We it's will best to make it square. Uh, have a lot four of by four. Actually, we so that there'll be targets for only your creatures' training needs. Additional book here at the wall. So he tells us to build a training room four by four. I don't know if we have space for that here, but we will soon find out. We will soon find out. We could need ah. So you can see there is progress being made. They research a spell. Uh, yeah, okay. Here it tells us, okay, I want to go to the library and work. They don't have thoughts, they are just... Oh, they do, actually. They think I'm gonna reinforce that wall. Um, sure, why not? But actually, I'd rather have you claiming land so I can build a uh, build a training room. And let's make a bigger hatchery. Five times five is really exaggerated. Let's go for three times five for the start. And here we go with the training room. Make it big. A task That's well done. easily. But training creatures will cost go. One, two, three. Oh, so let's breach here. Yeah, training creatures costs gold, as we can see. Twenty gold. Oh no, it's so expensive. But it's really worth it. We can see they're making progress. Soon he will level up to level two. Well, soon is exaggerated, but eventually they will. How is the spell going? Yeah, it's going quite well. How are we doing? We got three warlocks, four goblins, and we, as we can see, jobs. They are working. They are, well, that's training or fighting. Training or fighting. What are our objectives? Um, yeah, kill him. That's all. Uh, maybe there's a part of the horny talisman in this level. A new spell has I don't been know. researched. Nice. Mana is the currency of magic, and it's this you spend each time you cast a spell. Your mana level is shown in green atop the screen. Your land will gradually renew it as it's spent. A good cast keeper. You've made good use of your warlock's studious research. Cast your new spell to create an imp. Yeah. So open now the panel spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Select the we imp's head that. symbol. We then did cast that, it and with we created many lands imps. With yours. And yeah, imps are creatures born of magic and cost mana to sustain. Should we keep looking for secret? Ah, here we will breach. Now let's just do it. I mean, I. I normally finish the levels Your without summoning money at all, so One let's is just to level two. Yeah. A creature can train as high as level four, but that's the limit. Further skill can only be attained out on the battlefield. Yep. There's somebody not training. Oh. And we are kind of stupid. No, I'm not here. Here is good. Is this good? No, it's not. I don't care. The point is just if we breach this here, then you may wish to train your warlocks to improve their skills. Yeah, let's to do, do this. this. Drop a warlock in the training room. Are you guys kidding me? So I don't want to lose this uh, target that somebody can attack, but actually I think only raged. Attack ranged attackers can attack such a wall target to train. Yeah, he's a ranged attacker actually. Let's see if he can just train here. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, he will. He uses this to train. Okay, nice. So far, so good. Because we don't care, we build a larger 
hatchery and he is really not smart about building that hatchery so we're gonna do it again well at least we get three actually we should get four but so what uh, four little houses to hatch um, little chickens so what do we have? we have training eating, sleeping, working for some so that's a workplace for some, that's a workplace for some and in between we got sleeping and eating that should work out fine a new spell has been researched. We could use a bigger Your layer. Now of have studied further, so offering what? you another spell. It's cast enough for this level. Through which a thunderbolt is yours to hurl against such foolish enemies who dare invade your turn. Yep, let's try it. But we can only cast it on our Your dungeon land, has been I breached. Think. Dungeon breached. Your Where? imps have found some dwarves. These oh. righteous little pests may stray onto your land, and if they do, destroy them. For that's what they deserve. So, if that's what they deserve, that's what they're gonna get. The dwarves again. So, the poultry dwarves are now destroyed. Yep. Allow your creatures time to rest and eat. When ready, guide them north to find Lord Darius's keep. Let's just find it now. <coughs> Assume. Ah, do we have the possession spell? No. A left click on your creature picks it up. Yeah. A right click on claimed land then lets it drop. Be wary though. Don't drop them too near enemies. For the dropping stuns these beasts a time and makes them vulnerable to enemy attack. Yep. <sighs> Boring. A little. I would like to just kill my enemy. He's somewhere here. I don't know. Lord Darius's walls are breached. Your forces now must kill his guards and stir Lord Darius himself to come defend his land. Yeah, we want them to come to our land here. Actually, we don't care. When you pick up creatures, make sure to pick up um, the ones you it is pay want day. to drop first. You should uh, pick up last. And boom, couple of fireballs. Yeah, this is a very one-sided battle, as you can see. At last, Lord Darius has been roused. He enters through his hero's gate. Your the force gate. man must kill him, and the portal gem of Sing Song will be yours. Yep. Keep up. Dare not think that you will conquer me, you evil wretch. My dwarves and the power of good will drive you from this land. No, it won't. But, nice idea. Let's drop him. The best thing about Thunderbolt is not the damage it does, but that it stuns your opponents. So, the strong opponents, um, if you drop them, they don't do damage, obviously. And, yeah. You will perish. That's always useful. Lord well, no, Darius. you're dead. Now comes Horny to claim you the portal gem. Your progress is made. So that was level two. Thanks for watching. I see you blasted Lord Darius off the face of the realm. A most entertaining way to claim a portal gem. To hear their singing turn to screaming has been a tremendous joy to my ears. Uh -huh. Yeah, I didn't hear them singing in the first place. So that's the uh, mission debriefing screen that I didn't show you last time. Well, you can get a couple of a bunch of statistics about um, how you did during the level. Yeah. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. I hope you will check out my other videos as well. So take care. Bye.